<laughs> All right. Now, I pissed a few people off in the last video when I talked about Hannah Kobayashi. They're like, you were being disrespectful, JB. Was I? Was I? Seems like I was right now, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm JB Gunner. This is Crime Time. We got an update. We're going to be talking about Hannah Kobayashi. Where did this chick go? <sighs> Let's do it. What the Well, what's going on, everybody? As you guys know, I'm JB Gunner, and this is Crime Time. Now, before we get started, uh, let me say thank you to everybody that supports the channel. Hell, any of my channels, regardless of platform, regardless of method you choose, whether it's Cash App, Patreon, Venmo, PayPal. Truth is, guys, I couldn't do this each and every day as often as I do for the last 18 years if it wasn't for you, the Gun Squad. I love you guys so much. Big shout out to you. If you too find my content valuable, feel free to hit the links down below. Show some love. Join the Gun Squad. You can also find the links to my other content as well guys hope you had a very happy thanksgiving man uh, i hope you got full got fed i know i've been kind of just relaxing i took the whole week off just kind of sitting around feeding my face drinking doing my thing uh so I've, I've, I've enjoyed myself but it's time to get back to work and so what i want to talk about is this woman right here um now for you guys that do not know about this story i mean, i recently made a video on i think it was my last video on the channel um this is a woman that was planning on leaving maui hawaii and going to new york to start a new photography job well in california in lax she got off the airplane her connecting flight was only 45 minutes away and she just never went to it she hung around lax for about three four days and then she's disappeared. Her father came to, to search for her to L.A., and he ended up jumping off a fucking roof to a suicide. Now, I said that I believed this woman met up with a man, met up with a dude, and it, it, it just threw everything all off. Or she got involved in drugs or dope or something. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's starting to look a lot more like this. In the first video, I told you that it was very likely that she would do something like this because she very much so was a free spirit. I know her family was like, this is unlike her. This is this. this. No, no, no. If you look at her Instagram, you will see that she's kind of a hippie. This is what she does. Uh, I, I've mentioned before, she probably did do hiking. She does do hiking. And come to find out, She's trying to get to the mountains, and I think that's actually where she's at. Not necessarily the mountains, but the forest. Um, so we're going to get into all that because there is some updates, because there's some Venmo payments. There's also a dude that JLR even interviewed, um, kind of a retard, right? And so, like, there's, there's some Venmo payments, but there's even more to this. As there's an update to the story, and she was spotted at the Greyhound station, and it, I think I know where she went. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get into this story. Let's go check it out here. We're going to switch on over to here. Um, twist in hunt for missing Hannah, Hannah Kobayashi as cops try to track man and woman she paid uh, via Venmo app hours after missing her LAX flight amid fears she had been trafficked out of California. Listen, I told you guys this before. This, you guys in your human trafficking thing, it's all bullshit. To me, there's no such thing as trafficking unless it involves children. I told you, these broads make these decisions herself, themselves. Now, do I think she made the decision to go off and sell ass? Nope. Do I think that that's what she's doing? Nope. Um, but I do think that she came here to meet someone, and that's why she didn't get on the plane with her ex-boyfriend to go to New York. I think that on the way here, she changed her position. Like, listen, it couldn't have been just that 45 minutes. In, in my opinion, the flight to LAX from Hawaii, she determined in her own brain and maybe even before that, that she was going to meet some other dude, and now that's where she's at. She's, she's essentially doing shit like that. Now, the unfortunate thing is she may be in a situation where she's not seeing news updates and she has no clue what's happened to her father. Because in the last video I, I, I gave you, I, I showed you that her father fucking killed himself. 
which is insanity. Now, I've, I've, been, listen, I've been looking at all the comments and seeing comments on other people's streams about this and shit like that. You guys are fucking nut jobs. This is only, you people will always blame someone that has nothing to do with it. I've seen you people blame her father. I wonder how much her father's got to do with it, and he just couldn't handle it no more, so he jumped off the roof. Man, you guys need a fucking, you guys need some medication. I'm not bullshitting at all. A lot of you people are just fucking nut jobs, and you refuse to accept it. If you believe her father had anything to do with her disappearance, you're a fucking nut job. You have no evidence to point in that direction at all. None. And, but, but you had no evidence about the tunnels and all the other fucking Dave Batista coming to the Idaho Four House. You have no evidence of any of this shit, and you guys just keep saying the shit on the internet all the time. Like, some of you people really need mental help. No doubt about it. But anyways, let's get back to this. Um, let's get back to the story, because we got quite a few things to look at. Police are hunting down a man and woman who, who missing Hawaiian woman Hannah Kobayashi sent money to via Venmo after she missed her flight to New York from LAX and a major twist in her disappearance. Um, basically, we all know the story about her, her missing, her father committing suicide. Anyways... Um, it remains unclear why she left LAX airport and ventured out into the city 15 miles away, but she sent a text to a friend saying she had a spiritual awakening. Sounds like some dope to me. And was later seen in the company of a mystery man, a Tyrone, an African-American, on November 11th. Yes. Yeah, she got hooked up. I'm telling you, she got hooked up on that shit. But anyways, her family revealed that on November 9th, the day after she was meant to arrive in New York, she made two payments she was in Venmo. One was at 625 to a person named Veronica Almendarez for an unknown amount, with the description of the payment only showing a, a drawn bow and arrow emoji. The second was made less than an hour later to someone called Jonathan Taylor, also for an undisclosed amount with the description only saying reading. Actually, I do know the amount that that was. It was $20. Now, how do I know? Because that's what Jonathan himself said. Jonathan himself was over here on Jonathan himself was did a did an interview right here over on JLR investigates page right here. And uh, it, it, it was a nice, it was a decent little interview. I typically don't watch other YouTubers, but I did one. I did check that out. Uh, he's retarded. The man is retarded. Let's just call it what it is. The dude has some sort of brain injury. I don't know what the fuck is going on with him, but like he didn't even know who the woman was. He has, or he's claiming to not have any clue who Hannah is. This dude is in Texas. Now, what this guy is claiming, that some African dude, like African, one of them Nigerian scams, right? Like was, was somehow hacked into his shit and some sort of where he was paying for spiritual readings and shit. So it is very, very possible. That a lot of this is just a big fucking scam she got hooked up with and then she, you know, lost everything. Now, here's the thing, though. Here's where things is goofy. Her text messages said that someone she thought she loved had scammed her out of all of her money. When you're talking to maybe, maybe it was somebody acting as if they were Josh, but that doesn't make sense. But uh, whatever the dude's name was, but because she only sent him 20 bucks, he said. You know, the name on the sent to it was only twenty dollars. There, there's no way in fuck she was going from Hawaii to New York, and all she had on her was twenty bucks. You see what I'm saying? There's no way possible whatsoever. Um, there's no way I'm going to believe that. So I would recommend taking a look at this uh, interview. No question about it. According to her sister, Sydney Kobayashi, Hannah sent these payments to people whose names were not recognized by the family. The relationship with Hannah is currently not known, but the missing woman's family told the son that the LAPD is investigating the matter. So this is Upper Venmo. She sent the, these payments. Now, here's what's weird, man. Guys, isn't that a lot of fucking likes for Venmo payments? I want you to think about this. Think about your own Venmo payments. That's a lot of fucking likes for a Venmo payment. Now, granted, it could be strangers that have just been hunting down her shit and has went and done this. But I want you to really think about this. 
unless it's the internet that's went and found her Venmo and is just doing it, if that like that's a lot of likes for a fucking Venmo payment. Eight? I just, I just I've never had a Venmo payment with more than one like. And that was just by the motherfucker I was sending it to. You see what I'm saying? Like it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Hannah's aunt, Lori Pigeon, told the son, we've been made aware, and so have LAPD. It's in their hands. We're still focused in downtown LA, uh, even though it's been 15 days as, at the time of publication of this. She said, Pigeon admitted she and the family fears she may have been taken out of California. I don't understand why they think that, why people believe she's been taken out anywhere. Um, but anyway, we are now encouraging people from across the nation to keep an eye out in case she's been taken out of California. We're looking at all possibilities, hotels, metros, bus, train stations, all of this. Now, we got more here because we got a, an update by the sister, Sydney Kabayashi. Updated timeline. Now, so we're going to go through this timeline real quick. In fact, we'll just go to the here, right? Here. We're, we're going to go through this timeline real quick. All right. This is from her family directly. Friday, November 8th, 9.53 p.m., landed at LAX. Missed her connecting flight, which left at 11 p.m. That's not even 45 minutes, man. That's, a, that's over an hour. Uh, that's an hour and seven minutes. But anyway, Saturday, November 9th, 12 to 3 p.m. seen at the Grove, specifically at Tashin Books, charging her phone, photo taken by Hannah, and sent to Aunt at 2.43 from the bookstore. Evening, she was spotted back at LAX. Sunday, November 10th, 3.40 p.m., seen at the Grove again. The very next day, captured on video outside of LeBron James' event. Evening, believed to have returned to LAX. I wonder, was she, was she sleeping there? Monday, November 11th, 5 p.m., spotted talking to a ticketing agent at LAX. Hannah boards LAX Metro Sea Line at Aviation Century Station at 9.04 p.m. She tra Now, why would she be leaving at 9 o'clock at night into Los Angeles, into a city that she's not familiar with? She transferred trains at the Rosa Park Station. It is confirmed that she was accompanied by an unknown, by the way, African-American individual for the duration of her time on the Metro. See, by the way, and I want to make this clear that the people that saw her said that it seemed like the guy was guiding her. He was like, yeah, this is the spot we're getting off at. And I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like drugs or something was involved here or this was the dude that she met. 10.03 p.m., she was seen in footage departing the Metro Pico station with unknown individual. Now, here's the new shit, the update. Tuesday, November 12th, it has been confirmed that Hannah was seen at the Greyhound Terminal at Union Station on 11-12-2024 at approximately 6.30 a.m. But no one else was seen in the camera frame near her. But we can also not rule out that if, in fact, she's with another individual, they may have been distancing themselves from surveillance. Um, so she was seen at 6.30 that next morning. Please be mindful that this is all the information we have from LAPD, and we're just trying to keep everyone up date, uh, to date as possible. We are just frustrated, as everyone else, with the limited amount of information we have been given by authorities, but we still have to believe they are doing what they can at this time. We would appreciate if we don't have armchair investigators commenting here or making their own speculations. The more days go by, the harder this gets for all of us as a family while also grieving the loss of my father. Please give us some grace and, oh, the, no, the, no, 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 the true crimers ain't going to give you no grace. These motherfucking nut jobs, they're not going to, no, they're going to, they're going to dig in even more. See, I'm just doing a story on passing shit. Like, I'm not investigating. I'm not get, uh, bothering you on your Facebook page. But they will. They will do it all. They're, they're, they'll go to y'all's Venmo's. They'll do all that shit. The fucking true crime community are nut jobs. Period. They're not gonna. They're not gonna hear. They're not gonna listen to you hear whatsoever. So they're saying that she might have been taken by a stranger. 
Um, th- this is one of the accusations that they're making. Now, of course, I don't see it that way at all. I mean, anything's possible, I guess you could say. But I, I personally don't see it that way at all. Um, I, I think she's made this choice on her own. I think this is the 100% what she's chosen to do. And there's reasons why I'm saying this. In fact, let me, let me take you over here. I wanna, what I want to show you over here, this is uh, Gray Hughes' shit. Um, I was watching this last uh, this morning. Okay, so I, wanna, I, I just want to share this with you a little bit, right? So he's got a little timeline here, right? Uh, Hannah's seen in uh, 10 or 3 p.m. I'm not going to go through all this. I want to get to the point where she's been tweeting or, or texting, okay? Um, Hannah Venmo's Jonathan Taylor for a reading. The name uh, is also shared by John the Boneless on TikTok, according to Reddit. John allegedly said later he was unwittingly involved with Hannah through a guy she's with, a man named Bayo from South Africa. So she's over there with the Tyrone, and we see this shit happening. John apparently is semi-quadriplegic, which he is, suffers from a brain injury. He shared the Bayoli scammed him by hacking his cash app and Venmo accounts and stole $1,000 from him. This has led Hannah, uh, Hannah's family to believe Hannah was Venmoing Bayoli and not John. That's right. Um, I believe that wholeheartedly. Uh, according to Hannah's family, she was spotted again at LAX that evening. Oh, let me go down. According to Aaron on TikTok, Hannah attended Christina Ritchie's signing event for Cat Full of Spiders tarot deck and guidebook. So tarot reading, all kinds of weirdo shit. A lot of you, a lot of you spirit boxers and weirdos in the true crime community. I'm sure this is your thing, right? This is your thing. Uh, but anyways, Hannah posted a photo at the Grove on Instagram. This is all November 10th, right? With the caption, are they wider yet? But a day later, the post caption was changed to just those those symbols. And on 11-16, the post caption was changed to just an I. However, the two final changes might just be according to the device it's being viewed on. That's true. According to Hannah's family, is believed she returned to LAX that evening. Now, now we're going to get to this shit where she's texting. 2.29 a.m. in the morning, November 11th. Hannah texts her aunt in New York at 2.39 a.m. Um, says, hi, loves. I'm just finishing a very intense spiritual awakening. Awakening. It's 2.30 in the morning. I'm char- ch- ch- charging my phone and heading back to the airport to get to NYC. Look, man, it's 2.30 in the morning. It's 2.30 in the morning, and she's texting her family saying, I just got done with a spirit. You know, you know what I mean? You know how I many of you hoes? I've been giving spiritual awakening twos, and at 2.30, you're all shaking and shit like, oh, I've seen Jesus now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah, it's 2.30 in the morning. That's either drugs or dick or both. Let's just call it what it is. And anybody that doesn't believe this, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's 2.30 in the morning. You're from Hawaii. You're, you're, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let me go ahead and continue. Um, I might need to help get in there. It's a long story. I'll keep you posted. I still have my, I think I still have my hotel room. What do you mean you stink? Must see Tycho and you. I'm going to see what I could do. Love you. Sorry for craziness. Was definitely intercepted. Hotel room is still active. Feel free to come meet me. But I understand if you can't. I'll keep you posted. Hopefully, I can get away there with my reservation issue. Okay? So, this is the Sunday reports that Hannah's Aunt Lori said she spoke to Hannah. And that's when we were like, Hannah, what is going on? Are you okay? What's happening? Then we spoke on the phone. She sounded paranoid. I said, Are you with people? She said, Yes. But it was vague. I said, Do you feel safe? She said, I think so. She said she was going back to LAX to see if she could reschedule her flight and, t- and, t- and talk to American Airlines. She said, I love you. I said, I love you, too. Clearly, she came and she met people. Because I want you to just understand, man, the, the, the possibility that she didn't already have these people to meet when she got to LA and just so happens during that 45 minutes, she just so happens to just bump into people. Come on, man. She knew she only had 45 minutes. And let me tell you, would you leave an airport in a strange city if you only have 45 minutes? 
knowing how long it takes to get back through TSA and all that shit? No, you wouldn't have, and the chances are she wouldn't have either. This was all done purposely. Whoever it is she met in California, she planned to meet in California. That's just the way, and how, how do I know? Well, we're going to take a look at further messages, right? All right. Hannah seen on footage uh, retrieving her purple roller luggage from downstairs baggage claim at LAX. Uh, check bag tag on it, blah, blah, blah. Um, anyways, uh, it's 5.48 p.m. later in the day. Hannah texts her roommate at 548. Says, I got hacked, stripped of my identity. I can't fly. Some weird shit, babe. I can't go to the pole. I got tricked pretty much into giving away all my funds for someone I thought I loved. Bam. For someone I thought I loved. Told you, motherfuckers. Didn't I? Didn't I? You are so disrespectful that you put dick in the title of your last video, Jimmy. Uh-uh. No. It's just true. It's just true. I know these bitches. I know this, these people. I'm telling you. You guys just want me to not say things that sound rough. You're, you, instead of you looking at her for what she actually is, you're looking at her as some sort of victim. As if she's just some victim of a crime. No. This is a grown-ass broad that lied to probably a lot of people. She came here with other plans, and she walked off on her own. She continued to be dishonest with people on her own, and in my opinion, she got on a bus, and I'm going to tell you where I think she went. We're going to get there, okay? But anyway... Let's keep it, continue to read this. For someone I thought I loved, I've been on the streets. I just know I need to, end, I need to go to the Redwoods. It's been really scary. I have a little money left. I just want to get a bus or whatever straight to the Redwoods. Now, the Redwoods, there's, it depends on if she's talking about the Redwood National Forest. And if that's the case, it's in northern Florida. I mean, northern California, about 600 miles north or some shit like that. Up on the or by the Oregon border. I'll be uh, anyway. Gonna look for work. Why would she look for work and not just get a ride back home? But I haven't slept for days. Please, please keep this to yourself for now and be discreet. Well, well, well why? I'm at LAX. I'm at LAX. I might go to a homeless shelter. I literally can't go home, love. Why not? I have my ID and my passport. It's a really long story, hon. I have stuff of value. What does that mean? I just need to rest, and I'll think better. But it's very complicated. Matrix underworld shit, girl. This is way beyond me. I was not catfish. No, we met. So she met the person she came to meet. That means I was right the whole fucking time. So your apology will be accepted. Thank you. Because once again, I was right. Period. Let's continue. I can't explain all of it. Just please be open with this. Please. Deep hackers wipe my identity, stole all my funds, and have me in a mind fuck since Friday. I'm just really scared, love, and the Redwoods is calling me. And I know I'm meant to be there. I'm being guided there, like you have before. I risk my freedom if this goes wrong for me, hon. I risk my freedom if this goes wrong for me, hon. What does that mean? Got some drugs you can dealing with? Some shit like that? Some other bullshit? Was your dream job not actually your dream job? You had some other shit up your sleeve, didn't you? And now you're here and you're caught up in some bullshit. Maybe. Or maybe this was the plan the whole time. And now your fucking dad is dead. And you want people to be on the load down and yeah. <coughs> Let me tell you something. Remember the update? She was last seen at the Greyhound. Chances are she took that Greyhound up to the woods, up to the Redwoods. 
And that's why nobody can hear from her. Because I want you to understand something. She, went, she was on that Greyhound bus stop before any of this news came out. So you're thinking to yourself, well, wouldn't she have saw the news of her dad and all this? No, not if she was already up in the Redwoods. She may have... <laughs> Crazy people, man. Crazy people. You have to ask yourself, what's the likelihood that she changed her entire itinerary, which she had for all this time? Just like this, in 45 minutes while waiting for the connecting flight. It's not very likely. Because remember, the whole catfish thing, not catfish. We, we met. I thought I loved him. Do you see my point? She came here for dick. You can call it spiritual healing all you want. Uh, you, know, <laughs> you can call it spiritual healing all you want. She came in for dick. And now she realized that you can't just pick up any Tyrone off the L.A. streets. Because now it makes you a Tyrone on the L.A. streets. <laughs> This is a crazy story. It's going to get worse and worse. I'm still, I don't know what about that tarred up down in Texas. I don't, I don't think he's part of it. I don't think he has the mental capacity to be part of anything. But at the end of the day, this is a grown woman that made her decision to lie and, and whatever, to come here for some dick. And now she's ran off for spiritual healing in the, in the Redwoods. Drugs, maybe. But I told you she wasn't trafficked. I told you that she had a secret dick agenda. And I think you know that now. Someone I thought I loved. I was right the whole time. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. And they still believe that she was trafficked or taken by somebody else. That's what these people believe now, right? That's what these people believe now. Like, if you look at Cuomo right here, there's a, the, Hannah Kobayashi may have been taken by a stranger. Where is Hannah Kobayashi? Where is Hannah Kobayashi, a 30-year-old woman from Hawaii who went missing 15 days ago on her way to visiting her aunt in New she York? She wanted to get some dick. Uh, here's what we is know. That it was on Friday, November 8th, Hannah flew from Maui to Los answer. Angeles and missed her connecting flight to New York. Saturday, November 9th, Hannah was seen at the Grove shopping. Ah, man, we know all this shit. I ain't got to do it. Dog the Bounty Hunter came on here. He wanted to talk about it. And you, you know the minute Dog the Bounty Hunter gets involved, there's some bullshit. Oh, and I think she could be in the hands of and the stranger Duper. taking advantage of her and the situation. And, and Dog, you actually... Of course, old Koopa Duper is going to be like, ah, man, somebody's taking advantage of her. No, man, did you ever think that maybe she's the one taking advantage of people? Why does everybody always assume that the broad's the victim? She was the one that was probably lying. New Hannah, which I kind of wondered about because you're from Hawaii. Hannah's from Hawaii. Oh. I know you've got a lot of connections there. What well, do you know about her? Well, it wasn't me, actually. That nerd was my daughter, Cecily. And Hannah had spent the night three or four times with us in Oahu in Honolulu, and then Hannah, if you know, moved on to Maui. But get, get the fuck out of here, man! And dog, the bounty hunter just happens to kind of know her. Hey, man, she's been in my house. <laughs> she came through the tunnels with with with, with, with Dave Batista. Oh man, nope. She fell in love with motherfuckers on the internet. She came to L.A. She <laughs> I was right. And y'all know it.